Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode, I think, 137. <laughs> Could be 138, I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm in my living room today because I'm home alone. <laughs> and uh, there's laundry going, so there's that. <laughs> but yeah, so I got a few finished objects to share with you. I have a few more that I can't share with you just yet because two of them are for Saturday's video and one of them is for a video I'll be doing next week. But uh, yeah, it's a little coming up. I also got two whips to share with you guys and a little bit of acquisitions and yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my finished objects. I can't remember if I shared this on No Kitchen episode. I think I just shared it on my um, hashtag movie and stitch video. But it's my B square for uh, my B movie on the hashtag movie and stitch collab. And uh, yeah, so here it is. <laughs> the square pattern is the same one that I've been using and it's called um, Simple Says It Best Square. I'll link it below. It's a free uh, Ravelry download, I'm pretty sure. Really easy uh, square pattern. So, and this is supposed to be a goat, <laughs> but it's kind of looks like a goblin, but that's okay. I'm not even worried about it. So the movie for my B movie was The Big Green, which is a like kids uh, soccer movie. And their mascot's a goat, and at one point in the movie, they die at green. So, uh, that's why I chose the green goat. But, uh, yeah, so the square, I just used Red Heart, Super Saver, Spring Green, Bright Yellow, and I think Red Hot or Hot Red. And, um, uh, I can't remember these two colors. They were from Scrap Balls, but I'm pretty sure they're Red Heart also. He has a little nose down here. I should have made his nose bigger. And he's using, he's got safety eyes. Because I do plan on backing my, uh, blanket with like fleece or flannel or something when I get done with it. So I'm not worried about ends. That's why there's a knot there. <laughs> and uh, these little eyes poking through kinda. I'm not worried about that because it'll be covered. But yeah, so that's my B movie square. <laughs> I already got my C movie picked out. I haven't watched it yet though. So I'm making that square sometime this week because the next video comes out next Wednesday. And I got to, I think, or was that this? I don't know. Whenever. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so, my next finished object is a hat that I was working on in my last, um, what you're working on Wednesday. And it is called the Strawberry Hat, and it's a free pattern. I'll link the blog below, but it's a beret. <laughs> I finished it. It's so cute. I felt like the hole was really small, but it fits the way it's supposed to because it's a beret, you know. I always have to slide it on. Kind of weird. I'm going to help if I take my clip out of my hair. Give me a minute. I'm kind of weird. <laughs> okay, there we go. You just kind of pull it down and see it looks like that in the front <laughs> and then the back. I probably should have blocked these a little. I don't really block anything. <laughs> but um, I might try to do something with them. But I think it's cute. It's adorable. <laughs> I can't wait to wear it um, like at a festival if that ever happens again. Because we love going to festivals and stuff like that uh normally <laughs> so hopefully because you know last year everything was canceled this year everything's canceled so hopefully things will get normal eventually and i can register strawberry festival i think if i do do that i will probably make some extra ones to take with me because usually at stuff like that if you're wearing something themed people always ask where you got it and then it's nice if you have some with you because then you can make some money but yeah i think it's cute i don't know if i'm a beret person i kind of look funny <laughs> but it's just because i never really worn them so i don't I don't even really know how to wear them, <laughs> but um, when I finished it, I was like, Devin, look, my husband, I said, it's a strawberry beret <laughs> instead of raspberry, and he thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny, but yeah, so this color is Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red. This color back here is uh, Tea Leaf, and then these uh, little seeds throughout it uh, is the scraps from my sweater. <laughs> It's uh, Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. No, it's not. I lied. <laughs> it is Olive Yarn um, Sun Gold. I don't know why I got Yarn Bee. But yeah, the pattern said you could use uh, a yellow or a white to make the seeds, but I went with like yellow because their little seeds are kind of like a brownie yellow color. <laughs> but I think it's adorable. I love it very much. I look kind of like an artist or something. <laughs> I guess I am an artist, technically. Crochet's art. <laughs> Put my clip back in. I'm just kind of cleaning my hair back just kind of roughly today because I've been cleaning. <laughs> so I'm not worried about it. Okay, so that's the only finished objects I have that I can show with you, share with you right now. I have two of my groomies that I'll be showing you in a video tomorrow, which I'm going to film today. <laughs> but, um, and then I also have another project done 
that goes with the um, crochet calendar fun collab that I'm participating in. So I'll show those to you. Well, uh, the uh, Amigurumi's tomorrow and the other thing next week sometime. <laughs> but yeah, so I do have a couple whips. My big whip is another cardigan, another uh, everyday cardigan by Sorella. It's a free pattern. And I'm making it with Mandela Ombre Happy. It's number four worsted weight. And so I got the body of the uh, cardigan finished. I haven't woven in the ends or sewed up the seams, but I did finish the back panel, which I will show you. There's the back panel. And I did finish the two front panels. So here's one of them. <laughs> one panel and then the other one. So, so far this is two full um, cakes and most probably like uh, two thirds of the third cake of yarn. So there it is so far. <laughs> That's kind of what it's gonna look like when it's sewed together. I'm just now noticing that those kind of are the same exact colors. I didn't even mean for that to happen. I was just using the cakes as they come out, but they actually, you know, it's orange on the bottom, then blue, pinky, orange, but they're reversed. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so there's the body. And I did start the first sleeve. I know a lot of people say to do them together, but I just don't want to do that. I'm just doing it my own way. <laughs> so, um, pull this out. Got my first sleeve started. I did uh, change the cuff, so I'm in there. <laughs> I still got to make it up to about right here, and then uh, start the second one. So what I did do for this cuff, because this yellow one, the cuff turned out pretty big and like you know wide. So what I did with this one is uh, the whole cardigan is made with a K hook. So for this, I went down to an H hook. So that's what two sizes. Yeah, two sizes smaller. And I did the entire cuff um, with the H hook and then I switched back to the K hook to start the actual arm, the length of the arm. And so that brought it in a lot. It tightened it up and uh, I like it. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. So I'm about, I'm over halfway done with this first sleeve because I don't do the entire pattern because if I did, the sleeve would be like that on me. <laughs> It'd be hanging off the end. But, um, so I'm working on that one. And this is the third cake. It's like that's all that's left <laughs> and there is this one little bit that I had to pull out because there was a bunch of knots in it and there's actually another knot right there and uh, so I did pull this out of the center of the third cake but I'm gonna be uh, taking the knots out of it and using it for the other sleeve or the trim or something I haven't figured that out yet but I'm gonna use it <laughs> it's just that one cake had a ton of knots in it and um, that's actually why there's so many ends on here there's more ends than there should be because there was knots like everywhere but I'm not worried about it. I, you know, I cut the knots out and I just weave in the ends. It's fine. So I'm getting there. So I got to finish this sleeve, make another whole sleeve, and then sew the seams of the sweater together at the sides, put the arms on the sweater, and then do the um, the button band that goes all the way around the collar, you know, and then the, the hem uh, trim, hem trim. <laughs> and then this one will be done. I might, I might, uh, put pockets on this one because I kind of want pockets on my yellow one, <laughs> but I'm excited about getting this done I can't wait to wear this one. So yeah, that's my first whip and I'm working on that one like crazy I've been sitting here for the last few days when I have downtime. I uh, Been working on this. So my next whip is a new whip that I just started a little while ago <laughs> um, I wanted to I'm trying to enter into Christie's hats hats and more hats and set as uh, calendar cow um, crochet longs. <laughs> so, um, and said is making cowls, but she said that you can make anything you want and other people's making other things. So I'm trying to make a hat because then I can do both with one project. <laughs> but, um, so I got this yarn gifted to me, uh, recently. I can't remember exactly when, but it's from Jennifer. Uh, it's ice yarn and I haven't really used a lot of ice yarns. I've had some gifted to me. I just haven't really used them. It's rockabilly color is what it's called. But it's like a size four. It might be a size three, but I'm treating it like a size four. So I just started a very simple, um, these colors kind of go with Seta's picture for this month, for February. Not perfectly, but good enough. <laughs> I'm happy enough with it. So I just started a really simple uh, double crochet beanie. And it'll go in my donation box when I'm done with it. This is, uh, it's not animal fiber. What is it again? I never forgot. 
it's tinsel and polyamide and I feel like someone said that tinsel is made out of the tinsel is something to do with bamboo it's like some some kind of processed bamboo <laughs> but either way it's not animal fiber so I'm not worried about allergies so I think it's working up really pretty it's just simple double crochet I didn't use a pattern and I'm just doing it I started with 12 and I'm just increasing now up to like an adult size and then I'll make the hat down and I might make it long and try to use up all the yarn and then it could just be one of those where you can fold the broom up. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. But that's the hat that I'm making for those two <laughs> crochet alongs. So that's all my whips. Um, and like I said, I worked on, I made two amigurumis. And I do have another project that is for the other calendar cow <laughs> that I'm participating in. Um, but I'm not going to share that until I make the video for that. So, yeah. But I did get one piece of Happy Mail. And I bought, got, blah, 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 blah. I got some acquisitions that I want to share with you. So this card is from Haley. And she sent me a Valentine's Day card. It came late because the mail's crazy. But I still love it. <laughs> and it's a really pretty card. So thank you so much, Haley. And um, that's cool. Um, it's an Earth Day stamp. <laughs> but I'm going to still hang that up for a while because I like looking at them. But yeah, so acquisition-wise, uh, I showed this ball of yarn in the video I put out yesterday. The, uh, what would you make with this yarn? just because I, I literally just got back from the store getting this <laughs> and so I shared it with you but this was just a clearance ball of yarn at Walmart and it was only a dollar so I got it it's a red heart hello gorgeous it's really mangled but um, it was just a dollar so I grabbed it but it's a worsted weight and I think it's got 252 yards so yeah I'll use that for something <laughs> And then I did purchase two mandala uh, baby cakes <laughs> because I'm doing a test pattern for someone and uh, it called for size three and I didn't have, I don't think I have any size three <laughs> here at the house. And uh, so I just grabbed these while I was at Walmart, but it's mandala baby. That's the color. It's called, I think, Echo, Echo Caves. Ugh. You can't see it, but there's like a, oh, here, let me, yeah, there you go. There's a light green and it's like a white and different shades of blues. So I do get two of those. I already got the pattern started, but I'm not going to show you because it's a test pattern. And I'm also having an issue with it, so I'm, I emailed the designer and I'm waiting to hear back from them. But I uh, got those yarns. And then the last thing I bought was in the clearance section, or at the, the hot spot section, which at Walmart is right behind the cash registers where they put like the holiday stuff. It's usually called the hot spot. Um, because they put, you know, it's like a constantly rotating stash of themed things. <laughs> it's where like the Halloween costumes and all that are. Anyways, I went there, um, we couldn't go Valentine's Day or the day after Valentine's Day because of the snowstorm, but we went the day after that, the 17th, I think. The 16th or 17th, we went and, because I like looking at the holiday stuff and buying it, you know, for next year. Because I love decorating. But anyways, uh, they had some of the, uh, like kitchen towels on clearance. They were, when, when I went that day, they were 50% off. And then we went back the next day to, so we had to grab some fruit and stuff. I mentioned that yesterday <laughs> and, um, they were 75% off, but oh well, I already bought them. So I did buy two of the two packs of the kitchen towels and I got these with the idea of making towel hangers with them eventually, not right now, but eventually. And these are like really nice, thicker quality ones. So they were basically $2.00 for two of them so they're like a dollar each because it came up with it 50 percent off it came up to like a dollar 98 i think so anyways i got a two pack of this one it's white with pink and like red because i thought you know they're valentine's but they're also just neutral you know can go anytime it's got like a texture to it and then i did get two of the pink with hearts on it came they came in two packs for two dollars so i was excited about that and then when we went back yesterday to get that fruit and all that uh, they only had the cartoony looking prints left, so other people already grabbed up all these, <laughs> which I don't blame them because it's seventy five percent off that day. But yeah, so I got those. I'm gonna eventually put towel toppers on them, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Showed you my finished objects, my whips, my one happy mail, and my acquisitions. And now I gotta clean up this big mess. <laughs> I'm gonna record some uh, another video tomorrow's video today, just because we're gonna be driving a lot tomorrow. And uh, I don't want to worry about having to get that video out tomorrow evening. So I'm going to go ahead and get it filmed and edited and uploaded and then scheduled <laughs> for tomorrow morning, probably. But yeah, I think that's everything. We're going to go on a little trip this weekend. 
uh, just to get out of the house and all that. And then uh, I will see you guys again whenever <laughs> I uh, make another video, I guess. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I got laundry going and I got other things I got to do and I got to get ready for dinner. I know it's, it's still early, but I got to thaw out the meat. And what I'm cooking tonight for dinner is beef ribs. So they take, um, I think it takes about five hours the way I cook them. And because uh, it's, you know, low and slow. <laughs> and that's going to take the majority of the day. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.